Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Darwin, and I'm a fourth year landscape architecture student here at the University of Rome. I'm glad that we can all gather today to discuss something important, something that is often overlooked, something such as water. We rarely take into consideration where the water we drink from comes from, or how it is processed. But however, today I want to focus on something even less tangible, less obvious, and even more vital. Because without it, we wouldn't even be able to survive, or we wouldn't even be here. Before I start, may I have a show of hands of who actually drove their cars here today? Did you guys ever have second thoughts of driving your cars here today? Because as we all know, by driving our cars, we emit gases, which are hazardous to our health, but not, and also the environment. I am talking about air pollution. I am talking about air quality, toxic air, carbon monoxide, and other contaminants that will continue to harm us if we don't do something about it. And that is what I want to focus on today, the potential solutions to reduce pollution that we as a whole can work together to solve this problem. The World Health Organization estimates that 1.5 billion people living in urban areas throughout the world breathe dangerous levels of air pollution, and 1 billion premature deaths occur annually as a result of that. In addition, Toronto Medical Officer of Health released a report stating that traffic-related air pollution contributes to about 440 premature deaths and 1,700 hospitalization per year in Toronto. From my point of view as a promising landscape architect, I want to increase the awareness with regards to providing more greening and if energy efficient structures as part of improving air quality. I also want to provide the incentive for people to get out of their cars by building green roofs, recreational greening, greenways, and many more. As a result, this encourages more people to walk as opposed to driving. This also includes vibrant streets, neighborhoods, public squares, where people would choose to walk more often. But not only this indirect yet effective solution help enhance air quality, it also improves the aesthetics and the well-being of the people and the environment. These are the properties I wish to investigate in, wherein they subsequently establish the basis of my thesis. Thank you.